how I found your uh, web page. I was only looking for more information about the um, Baikun weight uh, uterus, um, which is well supposed to be a uterus shaped condition, I think. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is it how they um, is it how they um, describe this type of condition? Is that how you can say is it a condition? Yeah, I think so. It's um, the technical name is a malarian abnormality, but that just sounds not very nice. Oh. Um, that's like, <laughs> if you go through like medical literature, that's what, how they'll describe it. But okay. um, most often what we would say is, yeah, either by corneal uterus or a heart-shaped uterus. And I think it could be con considered a condition or just um, maybe like a factor that you'll need to weigh when you're starting to try and have kids. Yeah, I suppose. Because, um, I mean, th this is uh, something that, I mean, that pe some, some women don't even find out that they have this type of condition or, you know, shaped uterus uh, right. later on in pregnancy or even when the baby's born. Mm -hmm. How it's was wild. It I'm sorry. No, that's fine. Sorry. How was it with you? So I found out before ever trying to have kids, I had an IUD for contraception and I was feeling pain. Um, I hadn't had it for very long. And so I went back to the gynecologist and they did an ultrasound scan and saw, well, they actually, they didn't see it. And they said, it seems to have migrated. And I thought, what the heck, where can it go? How does something like that migrate? What does that mean? And it turns out it hadn't migrated. I just didn't have the correct cavity for it because a traditional uterus is shaped like an upside down pear. It's kind of got that like triangular shape to it. And then obviously the fallopian tubes and ovaries come off of it. And then the vagina comes out from underneath it. And in a, in a bicornuate uterus, something went wrong in your own fetal development during, as, as you were being formed. And so there are several different ways it can happen or different shapes it can take on. Um, but basically both halves kind of come together and instead of forming like they should have somewhere, something happened and then they form differently. So that's why it has the name the heart shaped because it can have either like a wall down the middle. It can be totally normal shaped and have a wall down the middle, or if the two sides could have fused incorrectly and it's like dented like a heart. And so inside there's a divot. Now mine is so heart shaped that it's like this. I have two horns entirely separate uterine cavities that connect together at the cervix. Okay. Um, the degree of variation is wide. Some people could just have like a little, little tiny little dink, little dip in, and um, that wouldn't probably cause too much problems. And there's kind of pros and cons to any type of bicornuate. If you just have a normal shaped uterus on the outside, but a septum in the middle, usually the septum is made of cartilage, which means surgery can remove it and then you should have a typical uterus. The downside of surgery is it could cause scar tissue. And the downside of not getting surgery is if an egg tries to implant there, it's not uterine tissue. So it doesn't do what it needs to do. The pros and cons of having the kind where it's dented and actually is shaped more like a heart is the pro is that all of that is uterine tissue. So hopefully that tissue knows what to do, even though it's not the right shape right now, hopefully it can expand and grow how it needs to. The downside is there's not really a surgery that can be done to repair it. So you don't know if your body will do what you would hope when you're trying to get pregnant. Yeah, so the range is kind of wild. And then the fact is they say it's super rare, but like you said, some people don't find out until after they've had a child or no. don't know at all. If you have zero complications and you're able to deliver vaginally, you just would never know. In my case, I knew ahead of time, but we didn't have any complications and I was able to deliver vaginally. And I remember when I was about 20 weeks and they did the typical ultrasound scan, I informed them of my uterus shape and they were like, really, we can't even tell. It had stretched to however it needed to be. And wow. basically with my daughter, she was in the left, I guess for you, this side, the left horn. <laughs> and so that took over and this one just hung out. But so she filled up an entire cavity and stretched it to full size even though it was only half of the uterus. So it's pretty miraculous. It's pretty amazing. Yeah.